Okay, alternative to the bisection algorithm, we can use the Newton's method to find again the implied volatility of uh, an option. So basically, um, the difference is in the Newton's algorithm, notice that we also need to know how to evaluate the derivative of the function. And in this case, uh, since we have the Black-Scholes formula, the partial derivative of the call option price with respect to the volatility uh, has a special name. And this is known as the vega of the option. Okay, So in general, these are called as the Greeks. So the, these are the sensitivities of the uh, option prices with respect to different parameters of the Black-Scholes model. And one of them is, of course, the volatility. So um, just remember this uh, special name, which is the vega of the option. And basically, we already discussed the Newton's algorithm. So we have an example uh, called here. And notice that the algorithm is given by this for loop here. And you have m number of maximum iterations. And each time we are actually calculating this um, h that we derived in the uh, previous nodes. And we need to evaluate the black choice price market minus the market price. So that's our v, right? So if we look at to our code, we have this v, which is basically the function evaluation and minus the market price. So we want to get this uh, as close as possible to zero. And the other thing is basically the derivative. So the derivative in this case is uh, the vega, the so-called vega formula. And in this formula, you can notice that we have the current stock price S times the um, derivative of the CDF, the norm, standard normal CDF evaluated at D1. So this derivative gives us actually the probability density function of the standard normal random variable. And we have this, we have this multiplication with this square root of time uh, as, as given. So if we want to define our um, own uh, vega, it can be also easily done. You can see that I can calculate this vega term by uh, first calculating this d1. So I calculate this d1 here. And then I can calculate the vega as the current stock price times the normal PDF function evaluated at this d1 times the square root of time. Okay, So I'm assuming this small t equals to 0 in this case. And I can again, uh, if you have the financial toolbox, you can uh, find a MATLAB built-in function that's called as BLS vega. And we can easily compare our result with this built-in function to make sure our user-defined function is also uh, giving the same answer. Okay, so since we defined our function here, or as I said, we can use the BLS Vega for uh, convenience if you have the toolbox, then uh, we can directly apply the Newton's algorithm. So you will be given some market price or you will observe it from your data. Okay, and then um, one one more thing here we can calculate again the built-in. Uh, we can use the built-in function in MATLAB for the implied volatility. So that's given by this PLS imp uh, v function. Uh, but I what I want to use my Newton's algorithm. Uh, so I have defined these two tolerance levels. The maximum number of iterations equals to 10. And I start with some initial guess for the implied volatility. And the rest is as usual. Uh, we are checking this stopping criteria. Basically, either if the um, x values are no longer changing much, right, we can stop. Uh, or uh, if our function value is almost, um, almost equals to 0, Again, there is no reason to continue our uh, iterations and we can uh, apply this break statement and give, a, give the flag equals to 1 to indicate that the convergence criteria has been achieved. Okay, And we return the latest updated um, x value to the user. So you can run this part, but first let's define 
make sure these parameters are defined and then basically we can compare this with the exact or the built-in functions so let me run this piece here to use the Newton's algorithm now so we can see that the implied volatility as a result of the Newton's uh, algorithm is uh, 0 0.3201 okay and if you compare this with uh, the so-called exact uh, implied volatility which is actually just coming from the built-in function again that's the same so both of these are actually giving us um, the same result uh, as a result of the Newton's uh, algorithm.